What's up guys, Dark Deli here, playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and today I want to have a look at the gear system, at customization, outfits, how all that kind of stuff works, as compared to how it used to work in Wildlands. So here you can see, well this is not the gear I have equipped, this is simply the gear I'm showing, you obviously, just like Wildlands, you know, okay, well slightly different, in Wildlands you just showed whatever gear you want, here you actually, let's go to the menu here, here you actually equip gear because gear here has levels and then you can show whatever you want. I'm going to show you how the whole system works. So here's the gear I'm actually wearing, which if I take my customization options off, it looks kind of, uh, well, I didn't look that bad. What I'm doing here is if you look down at the bottom right of my screen or the bottom ish, the bottom right ish corner, you see it says skin override. So I can turn my costume on or off. So I can either, right now I'm showing the gear I'm actually wearing. Right now I'm actually showing my costume. Now that's at a different menu. All right, I want to make this about how gear works. So here you can see I have a level 40 hat, level 42 gloves, a level 40 chest, etc. You can see this stuff. Uh, stuff that's green is advanced gear, or improved, sorry, improved gear. So this is these are improved pants, and because they're green, they get one randomly chosen ability. These have you know, plus 2% explosion damage resistance. Blue gear is advanced gear, and it has two abilities, as you can see, plus four stealth, plus 2% stamina regen speed. And I can click these and select from, you know, a selection of boots as to what I want to wear. I chose these. Now, the tier loot here does not have the implication that I feel a lot of people think that it has. It really doesn't have any implication at all because it... It has to do with the enemies you're going up against, but I'm just going to put this out there. If I So right now, look over here. This right here is my average gear level. It says 41. That's my gear level. It's the average of all my gear. So I'm level 41. So I would be, if I went to a base, I would be generally attacking, you know, at my level, I would generally be attacking level 40 enemies. That said, if I had a co-op friend with me who was level like 10, the enemies, the same enemies, which for me would be level 40, would be level 10 for him. It's not like the division where if you go with a friend into a high level area, you're just fucked. It's not like that. Everything is, you know, relative. Right. So I just want to talk about gear a little bit. So that's how kind of this works. Now, if we tab over on the menu, this menu up here, if we tab over twice, first it goes to skills and then we're going to go over here to customize. Here's the gear that you're showing, right? And here's the panes right here. You can see... Um, yeah, L2, R2, and the PlayStation toggle these. So here on the first pane, we have hair and facial, facial, you know, scars, paint, tattoos, etc. We can tab over here, and here I've chosen to show this hat. I've chosen to show no vest, these gloves, etc. So you can equip whatever gear you want, and then you can show whatever gear you want. Now this part should look familiar from Wildlands, as should this bit over here. In Wildlands, we had special outfits. Here we have visual palettes. It's the same thing, different name. I'm currently displaying Visual Palette 2. That's this outfit. You can store several of these. If we click on this, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five. I would say like Wildlands, but not necessarily. Wildlands actually had six because it had zero through five, if I recall correctly. Right? Yeah, I think it had six. Regardless, we have several palettes we can choose from. Let's equip Palette 1. This is my normal palette. So this is the outfit I have been running. Now... If I tab back over to my gear, you see my gear is exactly the same. It's just I'm showing different stuff over here. Here I'm showing, oh, doesn't my head doesn't matter because I'm wearing a face mask. But here I'm wearing a different vest, different, you know, this and that. And camouflage, like for instance, okay, so let's go over to the vest here. For instance, I can highlight over this. I'm wearing a Blackhawk uh, strike shoulder pad vest. Kind of looks like IBA, you know. And you see right there, I can edit color so I can choose the camo that I have on it. Camo in this game is not like in Wildlands. You don't have every camo automatically available to you. Some of these are unlocked via challenges or PvP uh, requirements or missions. Or some of them are purchased. Some of them are found. Some come from quests. Like right now, I'm using the navy blue like woodland camo. And this came from a quest reward, you know, for instance. Some of these, yeah, they come from all kinds of different means. So I kind of like that actually, whereas in Wildlands, it's like, it was cool in Wildlands because you could just wear whatever you wanted to wear. Here, it starts you off with mostly basic colors and you have to earn it all. So then there's, there's a sense of pride. There's not as much a sense of freedom, but there is a sense of pride. I'm showing the navy blue woodland camo because not a lot of people in the beta have it because I had to do a lot of quests to get it, you know? 
and it's like hey that's cool you know i feel cool whether or not however the other people who see me perceive my character i'm happy with it now whip and camos work the same way this is this video is about gear so let's have a look at weapons let's go back over here so that's kind of how the gear works it's like how the the actual gear you have equipped versus the gear the vanity gear you're showing it's how it works if i turn the skin over right off you see what i'm actually wearing is this but it's, it's still showing the face mask for some reason probably because um you can't equip a face mask so whatever and i turn it back on and it shows this. Let's have a look at the weapons here. They kind of work the same way with the level, with the bonuses, etc. Let's, um, yeah, so I can select the M4 and choose from, you know, whatever weapons I've picked up. Or I can just go to the gunsmith. Just like in Wildlands, I can go to the gunsmith. But the menu here is a bit different. Here's where you choose your attachments. Now, they have taken out buttstock and barrel. And I'm not sure why, but I don't really have a problem with it here. I mean, here's one thing they've done really well. Like, let's say I want to change my side rail attachment to a back. Here it says minus 30% hip recoil. Here it says, well, you can read, right? It says these. This side uh, rail attachment is more appropriate for me because I never fire from the hips. So I don't care about hip fire recoil because I never fire from the hip. I always uh, do iron sight aiming. So this one here is better for me. So I choose this. They may, there may be some fewer options, but they tell you what to do. That said, the options... Okay, so there's no buttstock or barrel options. All the other options are pretty much the same as Wildlands. Like, when we look at the optics, we have all the same scopes we had in Wildlands. They really haven't changed that yet. This game hasn't even launched yet, though, so who knows. Now we have this section over here, which I have either half shown or will show in my weapon upgrading video, so we'll just skip through that. That's upgrades. It applies to, in this case, all M4s that I have. Your weapon is your weapon. You can't make an M4 look like an AK, you know, like you can your gear. But, okay, so where's the paint? Where's the weapon paint? Okay, I should have shown that. If you look up here, it says modify paint. When you go to paint, here you actually have better options, I think, than you had in Wildlands, slightly better. So the basic color of it's black. And I can choose through different options. Now, this has not yet been optimized. You can see I have some stuff unlocked. It needs to optimize this menu. Like, I have stuff down here that's unlocked, but for some reason it's down here in the middle of the locked stuff. They need to change some of this. Anywho. So here you can choose your weapon paint. So I could say... Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to scroll up there. So I could paint it this color which is uh yeah multi-cam so you, you can choose whatever you want and then um i'm fine with this weapon just being black to be for my current outfit but you can also randomize it which is cool you can see you can just hit randomize and then wait what's preview paint what is that oh renew paint oh i thought it said preview it said renew wow okay so just like wild lens you can renew the paint the paint wears off over time and you can renew it it's my bad i totally read that wrong and anyway, you can go here and you can randomize each of these. So I could randomize my barrel color. Let's see what happens when I do that. See, it just randomizes it through different things. That's cool. This you could never do in Wildlands. Each palette only allowed you a certain amount of colors you could put with it. Here, you can go through. Here, let's just do it. You can just go and we'll just randomize every part and see what we end up with. I have no idea. I've actually not done this before. There we go. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, let's hide the menu. There we go. That's actually kind of cool that you can just do that. You can paint any piece, any color you want, unlike Wildlands. So that's a basic uh, thing on the gear. Now, can I wipe this is the question. Can I reset all of this <laughs> because I just want it black? Yes, I can. Good. All right, guys. That's a basic view of the gear and how it works. The gear system, the tiered loot system, the uh, looter, shooter, all these catchphrases I keep hearing. It's not as bad as you think it is, guys. If you run with a friend who's a different level, you'll encounter... The, you know, the enemies will be different difficulties to each of you. It, it levels the difficulty out. It doesn't mean if I run with someone lower level, it doesn't mean I have to carry them. It's just kind of for fun. You get special bonuses and it lets you gear up for something. It's like, hmm, I think for this mission, I need this kind of resistance or, or whatever. Or, you know, if we go over to this menu, it's like, hmm, I think I want to dress up like this or whatever. You know, I think I want a ghillie suit for this or I want... <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me. What I see here is the opportunity for immersion. So much immersion. You know, what backpack you choose. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I think I've gone on in length quite a bit. You see, the system is the same as Wildlands. It's just more extensive and includes more stuff. And I think people are, in general, 
afraid of change. Sorry to break it to you guys. I think a lot of people are afraid of change and where it may take them and the idea of a, you know, a game like this, but hey, whatever. Feel free to express your opinion in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dark Dally, and I'll catch you guys next time.